Hi Aries, how are you? I hope you're well and welcome back. This is your love reading um, for May. I know I'm a little bit late but that's because I've been really really busy. You for the all over energy you have the Ace of Pauls. That is the Ace of Pentacles and there is a small saying on the bottom and it says for the most wild yet most homely narrative which I'm about to pen, I neither expect nor solicit belief. The Black Cat. That was a nomen uh, made by the Black Cat, whoever that may be. But this is the uh, Tarot of Poe, and he was a poet and he was an author. So, there we go. Just taking a drink of water. Sorry, sweeties. Also, um, we're going into the meaning of the um, cards. You've got the Ace of Pentacles, so money could be coming into you. This is the love reading, so money could be very important in your romance life. You might want to marry, you might want to get buy a house or live together, or do the house up so perhaps now you are getting a promotion or a wage rise or you've applied for a loan and it will come through also where there is a new beginning in the, in the aces there's usually in the traditional tarot a hand reaching out from the cosmos or the divine bringing you an offer so there could be an offer of a job promotion and this could also be a new person coming into your life if you're single. Remember I'm reading for married, single people, people going through a divorce, things like that. So definitely for people that are single there could be a Taurus, Virgo or a Capricorn coming in. Or you could have a permanent earth sign around you. We also have the King of Wells. The Wells represent the Ink Wells um, mainly in this deck so that is the cups so you could be meeting cancer a cancer prominently or a scorpio or a pisces but cancer the king is the first house and cancer is the first house in the astrological zodiac calendar so you could be meeting a king he's a nurturing loving passionate sensual um handsome man He's a great provider. Also, the King of Cups um, uh, is um, a great, um, a great lover. He can be moody, but if you know how to laugh with them, they change their mood like that. You would think it would be a, a Gemini. He goes with the wind, or rather, he goes with the flow. Um, so, if it is a gentle flow and a nice flow, he can flow gently in between the cracks and cr crannies of the rocks and he'll be fine I was never really insane except upon occasions when my heart was touched there you go that says it all so if you touch his heart he will come out of his mood but he's a beautiful and also very loyal very loyal they don't like changing they're a lot like the pentacles they're for long term and um, they want something that's tangible as well okay but also they need people that go with the flow and could understand em em empathicness and intuition because they're usually also very empathic and intuitive the two of quills is the two of swords you might not be able to see the good side in a situation or in a person especially if you're going through a divorce remember it is hard to remember if you're going through a divorce um, why you fell in love with this person try to remember and try to recapture the good uh, side of people um, it doesn't some people turn once they are hooked up marriage can change them I know all about it so don't worry but try to see the good and stay calm and open your mind, open your heart and open your solar plex 
and let in the three L's, love, laughter and light. If you start laughing again, not at them, but with them, then they will be laughing with you. Two also means to me partnering up. Some of you could be partnering up, getting engaged or getting married. Believe nothing you hear and only one half that you see. Remember, look, don't just look in front of you. Look all the way around you. You've also got the five of candles. So um, this means competition, disagreements, but the disagreements are short-lived. That means that they won't stay there for long because every cloud is a silver lining and that is what somebody is telling me. You need to do uh, the research or ask your partner, is there somebody else? Because five is an uneven number and it means competition. So ask. Be specific, be open, be like the quills, the swords, be honest, be true. You need a transparent, be transparent, you need clarity, clarity so do they. Then they, if, if there is a, 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 a doubt and there is competition, they have to decide. They want to be with an honest, loyal, trustworthy person that is also transparent and can and is willing to communicate. So there could be disagreements, it could be about anything. Um, I don't see moving home or starting a family, but I do see a mother here with a child and it looks like sand castles. So that gives me an idea um, that it could be that you could be building something, you might want to start a family. This could also be your higher self coming out into the material world. You might be competing with, an, uh, like I said, an empathic person. Learn from them and let them learn from you. That is empathicness, in, re, in placing yourself in somebody's emotions or um, understanding where somebody is coming from. Be empathic. Be um uh, show your emotions and see their emotions don't be blind folded by their emotions they don't look through pink colored glasses keep it realistic otherwise it will lead to disagreements and, uh, and even worse arguments but you're halfway there so come on get out there and communicate take action you've got the ace of candles the ace of wands so come out and take action, start communicating, plan, be strategic. If you want this person, then go for it. Can also be any of the fire signs, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and with the pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So there you are, those are the people within your reading. Now I'm going to clarify the cards. So yeah, you. this is the basic meaning listen to your emotions know your emotions and your intuition listen to your intuition and also your other halves okay he won't wear the his heart on his sleeve but he is emotional but he is the king so he's got it, his emotions under control if you want to see more emotions from i love you i want you tell him he's not going to know without you telling him if you can't tell him, because you're sh closed off, and then get an arbitrator or a mediator. You've got the emperor. There again, you've got a fire sign. Uh, represents Aries. Okay. So, and this could be um, that for those that are wanting to get married and are organising to get married. Um, this could be the uh, like the register office, the register justice of the peace. This could also be the priest. He is an angel in this deck. All the cards are angels. Um, so it could also be the priest. Could also be doing prenuptials. You're not seeing the um, reality. You have to get over this business side of getting married, doing prenuptials, so that if you do divorce, then 
it won't be a bad divorce hopefully and hopefully you will never have to divorce because he will provide for you okay okay if it is con if you're getting married and if it's concerning belief or religion faith then talk to somebody about it from both sides try to see both sides of the coin okay and trying to find the balance you've got the two of swords and the two of pentacles if it's about money talk about it if you are only working part time well that has to be taken into consideration if you're the woman because you also have to work at home and you don't get paid for that work do you so you are supporting you're running the home while he or the other partner is working full time so try to keep the balance also be perhaps between heart and mind or heart and soul or perhaps between um, the home front and the work front perhaps you're working too much and they want you home <laughs> listen to what they want magic is in the air you are going if you're in competition before you're getting married you're going to win because you're going to shine you're the magician so long you do it with transparency and clarity you keep things transparent be true to yourself you've got Aries here again very prominent Aries three times and Gemini you hold the key to the passion so if you are married and you want to reignite re that flame then boom use your magic if you don't know how then see how like I said right at the beginning why did you get or how did you get or why did you fall in love with this person use it again and make a new twist to it so it's exciting and mysterious okay we've also got the death card so something might have died down there's an end to a phase it doesn't have to mean divorce because I don't see divorce I see this can be the advocate the lawyer to get divorced if that is what you because you're not seeing things clear but I don't believe that because um, the, the five of candles of wands is competition you're going to win from the competition so if there's going to be a third party then yes beat them make it clear to them that you love them finish this and let's reignite the flame you are in transition and transformation you are changing you're growing everybody is growing every single day now it's crazy but you won't believe it we've got the king of wands again Aries now Aries can be very very stubborn but they're also well read all the fire signs uh, are well read especially Sagittarius and Aries they are stronger they're so stronger so much stronger than a uh, lion the lion is more docile until he gets made angry or really if somebody's rattled his cage then he'll stand up because uh, if you look at the lion and the lioness the lioness does the hunting and he just lies around and he only comes into action if an, uh, somebody comes in that's threatening to his group that's how I see it and translated so the lion will not fight until it is necessary he and um, that's what I like about a partner um, that they will step in and protect their mate um, where necessary but they give you a, they give you a chance to fight up or come up for yourself and defend yourself so yes you are going to win so long you defend yourself in the right way and make it exciting again why you fell in love with them and why they fell in love with you they've got passion and you once if you do talk to each other and communicate with each other and not hide away and uh, isolate yourself either you or them then talk about it then you can reignite that that flame and they will listen to reason um, I know they, 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 it takes a lot but keep calm don't get fiery 
you've got a lot of fire in your reading so the word fire don't get riled up stay calm tranquilo the more you the more wood with all these wands the more wood you put on the fire the bigger the fire heftier the row so don't give them fire don't give them ammunition to make that fire roar right like the lion wow okay so be strategic take a page out of his book aries 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 um aries so definitely wow aries is prominent also scorpio is here and other water sign so it's either cancer prominently or scorpio there you go this one is flipped out fly with faith yes have faith in that you you can use the magic you hold the key have faith in yourself have faith in you and your partner if this is um, if if it, you haven't got a partner have faith that you can uh, win their heart now fly with faith let's have a look now the little verse at the bottom trust your sturdy wings and know that the universe is working its magic on your behalf and this is the reading for you Aries and you are very very prominent in this reading you could be married with or hooked up with an other Aries but take note don't be too fiery set your boundaries and don't always have the last word calm down if you love this person and you're so passionate about it and you want to make it last you have to know what they want and their boundaries and you have to let them know your boundaries and what you want you can make it work I know some some Aries that are married for 25 years 30 years and once they get divorced they're, they're still in each other's lap or pocket so don't give up because you fire signs don't let go trust your sturdy wings and know that the universe is working its magic on your behalf but you have to be open to receive that or willing just as the hummingbird knows that it will find the nectar it needs to survive even on its longest most harrowing journeys you are being asked to trust that universe is truly on your side and that everything will work out more perfectly than you can imagine like I said know your boundaries go back to what you fell in love with and what they fell in love with go back to the core wow royal hummingbird reminds you that there are so many things in your world that you easily trust such, such as the sun rising in the morning and the oxygen being available to fill your lungs yet often you find it difficult to trust yourself others or greater good that is always flowing to you from the universe perhaps past disappointments or ego based fears are clouding your ability to find optimism even though you may not yet see the fruits of your efforts or answers to your prayers you are being asked to have continued faith and believe in the promise of the blossoming rose you only need to surrender like I said be open to receive let go as best you can and trust take a deep inhales letting the air out with a loud verbal sigh each time and feel your body begin to relax then imagine a dozen hummingbirds hovering in front of you holding a beautiful empty basket fill the basket with your worries concerns and fears and feel the relief as the hummingbirds fly off into the heavens carrying your burdens away let go of how you think things should be let go of 
needing the, to control circumstances, details or other people. Let go of anything and everything that is keeping you from knowing your true beauty and worth. Relax in the peace of freedom, knowing that everything is exactly as it should be. When you do this, you allow the universe to work its magic on your behalf. Ride on the powerful, supportive wings of the royal hummingbird and fly with faith. I love it. I trust, this is the affirmation you can use, I trust myself, others and the universe and know that everything is working out for my highest good. Wow. I hope you've enjoyed this, Aries. Take care, stay safe and start working to get back the passion within your life. Even if you're on your own, open your heart, let that flame be ignited and beam it out towards the outer world. Thank you for your likes and shares. I appreciate it so much.